like making virtual a reality. It's very exciting. The students have a lot of freedom. AR, VR, 360 video, it's booming. Hey, this is real. From the first day of class, students are working as a team. We stay ahead of the curve by ditching the textbook. We have students from Seaver Science and Engineering, CFA Design, SFTV Film students, marketing students, entrepreneurship students, and we think that when we take all these people and then give them a problem to solve, that the results are even better than if we just had a homogenous group of people, and that's been totally true for this course. We started with very broad, right? What is VR? What is AR? And then started to narrow that funnel throughout the process. And there's a project at the end of the year that each group had to do. I've seen the students start from the beginning, being they were very apprehensive and nervous, to now diving in. And the final deliverable is a VR video based on uh, a brief that they were given. I think these projects are gonna have a broad impact. Special collections departments are often viewed as uh, secretive, right? um, mysterious, hidden, or difficult to access. Lots of people don't know about it. With this VR project, we are hoping to elevate awareness of Arcas and Special Collections at LMU, giving people who can visit us a virtual and unique glimpse into some of our greatest treasures. We're working with a company actually named Spherica uh, to be able to capture some amazing content. They're using drones, they're using rovers, and we're kind of getting an immersive experience of what it's like to be part of the LMU men's soccer team. It gives people an opportunity from campus to find and look at all the different areas that diversity entails, heightening the awareness of individuals that the world is more than just their immediate group that they are part of. It really is designed to empower individuals with disabilities to tell their own stories. There are a lot of people talk about VR as sort of an empathy engine, and we see the VR uh, experience as a possibility of saying, hey, if you can really, for a moment, be in somebody else's skin and really experience what the world is like. Wow, I had no idea. I have a cousin with dyslexia. Holy mackerel, I had no idea. We're using this immersive technology to help solve real-world problems in a ways that, we've, that have never been done before, and it's really cutting edge.